It's the annual food donation event you always hear coming from miles away. Once a year, a fleet of emergency service vehicles snakes its way around the streets of Papamore, collecting donated goods to pass on to the community through service provider Papamore Family Services. And while the event lasts for just a few hours, its impact lasts much longer. The food that comes in in the annual food drive can last us almost the full year until the next food drive. So non-perishable is very important, um, but it doesn't have to be cans of food. Cans of food are wonderful, but there's other types of non-perishable food and sometimes non-food items, such as personal care items, um, toothbrushes, toothpaste, soap, washing powder. Sometimes dog food and cat food is needed when, when a family finds themselves in a difficult position. Papamore Family Services has been helping out the community since 1993 and says the hardship has gotten harder over recent years. We consistently have a wait list, quite a lengthy wait list for our services, um, which is a strong indicator that there's more need here in Papamore than what we're able to meet. We're the only service providing this sort of support in the Papamore area. The need just continues to grow. But it's not just people without jobs struggling to put food on the table. Even those working for minimum wage cannot keep up. People who are employed um, as waged workers, they are becoming less able to meet their basic needs from their wages and are turning to services like ours for additional support. It's a very expensive place to live. A huge percentage of people are struggling to meet the amount of rent uh, that has been charged. Food Run Coordinator Farina Ali sees the pressures of people struggling every day and says it's hard to witness. I have seen ladies coming in tears and saying that they need the extra bit of help and sometimes you know they are too shy to come in but having this place here they're able to come and do that and then you see the gratitude. I actually came in as a um, actually for counselling and then I watched what the ladies did and what they did for me and what they do for everyone else and I wanted to be a part of it and I also wanted to give something back. Like Farina, it's an issue close to the heart of many in Papamore, keen to volunteer for the food drive. In fact, it's a little too popular. People get on board, they love it, um, and so we, we're having to turn away volunteers. Fire brigade, police, uh, search and rescue, fisheries, ambos, they're all on board and we divvy each other up into groups on the day. We've all got our own areas and it's just great fun, great fun. Volunteer Sarah Becker and her children have donated their time to the event for the last three years. The reason we got involved is as new residents to this area, the food run came along our street one night and my kids are like, Mum, what's this? And they saw their friends helping out. It's a couple of hours out of my life once a year that I can do something for someone else. With COVID-19 now creeping through the community, organisers have changed how donations are gathered. They're also asking the public to bag or box up items. Well, we're going to try and encourage um, people to leave food at their letterboxes or at the end of the drive so there's, uh, it's contactless. When you hear those sirens, you hear them around your neighbourhood, get your bag of goods, your box of goods, take it down to your letterbox, take it to the end of the driveway. Because our volunteers, we all want to make sure everyone stays safe. They're not going to come up to your house. They don't really want to be handed goods that are not bagged up or boxed up. So the more you can do to keep that remoteness or that physical distancing from the collectors means the faster we can go as well and keep ourselves safe. And while a global pandemic won't stop donations being collected, the emergency services have to be ready for anything. About three years ago, there was a fatal motor accident out on the highway and everybody had to, the, the ambulance, the fireys, the traffic guys, and the whole thing fell a bit flat because <laughs> all the emergency services had, had taken off. Tell us why you enjoy working on the emergency services food run. Because um, it's good for people in need and it actually gets out there for some exercise. The Papamoa Emergency Services Food Run takes place on Tuesday from 6pm. And don't worry if it slips your mind, you'll hear it before you see it. Gavin Ogden, Local Focus.